Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise, Adonai. This is another day, the day the Lord has made. Baraba do shoko paladi yahatanama shikabaroshe tebeve. We are glad and we are rejoicing in it. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God, I give you praise. Mighty God, I give you praise. Alabore pete kuba shante mana bayatabari kobo shope levedea. Iniene sete bete kuba shande beledusko paradu priyagadaya. We have come unto you, O God. We have come to the altar of prayer. Marabadasia tabashande kele beleti kashu parada suyo peledevas. Yes, Lord, the hour of prayer is here. I give you praise. I give you thanks. I come with worship. I come in humble adoration. Abarote pe vasaya. You are God all by yourself. There is none like you. I worship you, I worship you, I worship you, King of Kings, I worship you, Lord of Lords. Ah, bandeke to peledo praya gadoshe pelevina gadabando proyoko shoko. Receive all the glory, my God. What a day, what a day, a day of supplication and prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and invite your friends. Go ahead and invite your family. It's time for prayer. It is time to pray. It is our time of prayer, the covenant time of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you all the glory. I worship you. Adaya taparaba di baraba da bayando bolo bolo boyo koporo bodo shia da basaya. Hey, the velebede. Do, 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 do. Ogenedo. Ogenedo. Do, do, do. Ogenedo, Ogenedo, do 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 Ogenedo, Lord, Ogenedo. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful, Lord. You are beautiful. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful, Lord. You are beautiful. Oh. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Oh. Oh. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful, Lord. You are beautiful. Oh. 
Angels bow before you. You are beautiful, Lord. You are beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Go ahead and worship him now. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Sing a new song unto him. Come into his presence with worship. Come into his presence with praise. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. He is worthy. Oh, 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 We worship you, Lord. We bless your name. We give you praise. Adonai, there is none like you, Lord. I worship you. I worship you, Lord. I bow my heart. I bow my soul before you, Lord. Ayada badia badia gelebe kolobo yada ba yada ba da la yada ba da ba yada ba yada ba ba imbra yada ba le yada la ba no shi yada ba yada ba yada ba yada ba yada ba ba oh 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 Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful, Lord. You are beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you worship. Receive my worship. Let it come before you. Receive our worship. Let it rise, O oh God, unto thee as a sweet savour. Let it be an incense filling all the throne room. May my worship be acceptable in your sight today, my Father. May the fragrance of my worship come before you. Let the fragrance of my worship come to you, Lord. Receive all the glory, receive all the honor. We come in worship, we come by the way of worship. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Oh, 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 o
that adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful, Lord. You are beautiful. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful, Lord. You are beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. I worship you, my Father. I worship you, my Father. I worship you, my Father. Let my worship begin and never end to the God of all flesh. From the pages of my heart, let my worship begin and never end. To the God of all flesh, for you are God and your name is Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, oh Yahweh, for you are my God and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh, O oh Lord Yahweh. From the pages of my heart, let my worship begin and never end to the God of all flesh. I, from the pages of my heart, let my worship begin and never end to the God of all flesh. And you are God and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh, O Lord Yahweh. You're my God and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh, O Lord Yahweh. Receive all the glory, my Father. Receive all the glory, my Father. Thank you, Father. Receive all the glory. Receive my worship. May my worship ascend to you, O God. May our worship ascend to you, O God, from this altar of prayer. Receive all the glory. Receive all the glory. Receive all the glory, my King. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have worshipped. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Hallelujah. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. It is the hour of prayer. I can see you from around the world. Hallelujah. I can see you from around the world. Thank you for joining in. Invite someone right away. Don't come here alone. Invite your friend. Invite your family members. Go ahead and share this page. We are praying. We are praying. My God. God is here today. Thank you, Jesus. The angels are here to carry our supplication to the throne of grace. The angels are here to carry our supplication and add incense to it, my God. I am excited this day to pray. Atula Bakuria, are you here to pray? Open your Bibles with me, even as you invite your friends. Again, in the next seven minutes maximum, I will bring you God's Word. God's Word again to 
to strengthen your soul, uh, to, to anchor your, your faith, even as we pray today. Hallelujah. In 2 Corinthians uh, chapter number 9. But before we go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, let us look at John, the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John chapter 1, we will read verse 14 and verse 16. The Gospel of John chapter 1, verse 14 and verse 16. Then we will quickly run to 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. So you can just open it and put your hands there if you have your Bible. Hallelujah to Jesus. In John's Gospel chapter 1, verse 14, <clears throat> The Bible said, the word became flesh and made his dwelling amongst us. Uh, the King James said, the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. The King James we said, we, uh, 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 the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And we beheld this glory as the glory of the only begotten Son of God, full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. That is the King James Version. Amen. Uh, and then in verse 16, the Bible said, from the fullness of his grace we have all received one blessing after another and uh, the king james we said from the fullness of his grace have we all received grace unto grace grace unto grace my god grace unto grace today we have come to draw grace from heaven we have come to demand that grace be made functional that grace be activated in our lives hallelujah to jesus we have come to draw grace the bible said he's full of grace and from his grace from the fullness of his grace we have received grace to grace grace upon grace aha turn quickly like i said uh, 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 second corinthians chapter 9 and in verse number 8 the bible said and god is able to make all grace abound to you he is able to make all grace abound to you so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good works. I can. I, I want to read that again. He said, and God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that you in all things, at all times, having all all that you need you will abound in every good work hallelujah to jesus uh, in first peter chapter 5 and verse 10 the bible called god the god of all grace hallelujah i'm not here to preach it's not a preaching it's not a preaching meeting we have come to pray amen we have come today to draw grace uh, to draw grace the bible said all grace it means that there is grace for everything at all times all grace god is able to cause all grace to abound to you at all times hallelujah having need for nothing amen abounding to you so what is grace therefore grace is divine ability to do grace is god's enablement the enablement that comes from god upon a man that enables that man to do to do what he ordinarily could not do to do what he was struggling you know before uh, what he was struggling about before grace when grace comes upon a man that man is able to do as it were it's like a booster it's like an energy it's like an extra force that comes upon a man that enables a man to do ahead that is grace the bible said that god will cause all grace to abound to you grace to pray grace to study grace to make money grace for all things hallelujah grace for your business grace to stop something and begin something grace grace can come upon a man that will energize that man that will wake that individual up grace the bible said of the fullness of his grace we have all received grace unto grace 
one blessing after another. We receive grace and we see his blessings. And then we receive grace again. Today you are going to pray. Hallelujah to Jesus. We have come to pray. Thank you, Father. Rise to your feet now. If it is by standing that you pray comfortably, you can rise to your feet. If it is by sitting you pray comfortably, you can sit. If it is by pacing around, you can pace. If it is by lying down, you can lie down. Just take a comfortable prayer position because we are about to pray. We are about to draw grace. We are about to demand of heaven that grace be deposited upon our lives on this day in this year my god that by grace we will scale we will scale above the troops by grace we will we will we will scale over walls by grace we will do what our strength ordinarily could not do before by grace in this year my god things will fall off our lives by grace the revival we ask will come the grace of god will be poured out abundantly upon us open your mouth and be Begin to worship the Lord now. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Hayatabasha. In the name of Yeshua Amashiach and Dadini in the Kumeneke Tuyada. In the name of Yeshua, begin to pray. He said, Ask so that your joy will be full. It is a covenant hour of prayer. My God, God wants to bet something in our lives. God wants to bet something through you in this year, my God, and beyond. A revival is coming. I hear the wind. I hear the sound. A revival is coming. Open your mouth and begin to pray. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Spirit. The Bible said that he that prayeth in tongues, speaketh mystery unto God. Go ahead, go ahead. He that prayeth in tongues and defies himself, uh, begin to pray. Ask the spirit of prayer to help you today. Ask the Holy Spirit Yes, ask the spirit of grace, ask the spirit of grace, ask the spirit of supplication to come upon you. Yes, 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 that is always our first prayer point, uh, that the spirit of God will help you to pray, that the spirit of God will help you to pray. This is another day of supplication. Give God this one hour, give to God this one hour, my God, engage heaven for one hour. Give us grace to pray. Give me grace, O God. I come before you, Lord. I ask for grace. This is the day of supplication. This is another day of supplication my God. We have come to make supplications. Growth must happen for you this year. Growth must uh, be recorded in your life. If you believe, let me hear your amen, my God. Spirit of grace, help me to pray. Spirit of God, Help me to pray. I yatamana shakataya. I yield myself to you. I yield myself to you, Holy Spirit. Cleanse me and purge me, O God. I de 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 yeketeba. I draw my ship alavadaka. I grow go do bolobo. I de 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 bele be ya gade be de be ya gade be de be ya gade. I de be ya gade be de be ya gade be de be ya gade. I lo bereza be di ya go bereza na go bekete. I to porobo do shoko porobo kori ya go barada. I beleze de maragati ya kete de bata. Taniyoto shateba ine swa swa bana vadi akatira ile deme neke tuwe tuwa shapari in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. The Bible said in Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 29, Seest thou a man diligent in his walk, he will stand before kings and not before mean men. We are drawing grace today. I need you to pray and say, God, I receive grace to be diligent and determined. I receive grace. Let grace come upon me to be diligent this year and determined in all that 
what I do, to be diligent about my business, to be diligent in my service to you, to be diligent, oh God, we are praying for revival today, and this is in twofold, first for ourselves, then for the church, open your mouth and pray, growth is coming your way, growth is coming to you this year, the church will grow, the kingdom of God will advance. Hiya, ta, ta, ta. Pray for grace uh, to be diligent in all you do. To be diligent and determined. To be diligent in the name of Jesus. Grace. Grace upon me. Grace upon your church. To be diligent about spiritual matters. To be diligent about prayer. To be diligent about the study of God's word. To be diligent about your career. To be diligent about their businesses. Open your mouth and pray. These are the days that the prophets prophesied about that his house will, will expand by prosperity. Open your mouth and pray. Diligence is what you need, child of God. Grace to be diligent. Grace to be diligent. Pray, pray, pray in the name of Jesus. The man for grace. I can see you from everywhere. I see you from everywhere. My God, go ahead and pray. In it is time for prayer. I receive grace. I receive grace upon my life. I will be diligent and determined in this year in the name of Jesus. My God, I will stand before kings and not before mean men. I will stand before kings and not before mean men. As a student, I will be diligent. As a worker, I will be diligent. In my service to God in my place of work in my business oh God I receive grace I receive grace my God I receive grace of the fullness of his grace we have all received grace unto grace I receive grace God that is able to cause all grace to abound unto me therefore father grace to be diligent grace to be determined I demand in my spiritual work, in my relationship with you, oh God, I will be diligent. I receive grace to be diligent. I receive grace. I receive grace as a student. I receive grace as a minister. I receive grace as a businessman, a businesswoman. Pray. I receive grace as a mother. I receive grace as a working mother. I receive grace. No department of my life shall be lacking. No department of my life shall be lacking. I receive grace. I receive grace to walk in diligence. I shall be diligent with my work. In this year, in this season, I shall be diligent as a student. Open your mouth and pray. I shall be diligent as a husband. I shall be diligent as a father. I shall be diligent as a wife. I shall be diligent as a mother. Open your mouth and pray. I receive grace i receive grace grace to be diligent grace to be diligent bring upon your church the grace to be diligent bring upon the church grace to be diligent and then a sasa that what paradi had the course I Yes, I walk in grace. I walk in grace. I walk in grace for diligence. I walk in the grace for diligence. I walk in the grace for diligence, my father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hear me, child of God. In this year, God will put resources in your hands. Can I hear an amen? God will put resources in your hands. This year, resources will locate you. This year, resources, there will be an overflow in the name of Jesus. There will be an overflow 
of resources in the name of Jesus. Your land will yield. Your investments will yield. Yes, yes, yes. Your career will produce for you in the name of Jesus. Your job will yield in the name of Jesus. Resources will enter your hand in the name of Jesus. You shall have resources in the name of Jesus, my God. Thank you, Father. But you need to pray. You need to pray today. You need to ask the Lord to give you grace. Not to be wasteful. Not to be wasteful. Some persons are wasteful. Yes, yes, yes. Down the line in the year, they become wasteful. At the end of the year, they look at themselves and it looks like nothing entered their hand in the year. Pray, God, help me not to be wasteful. Everything that causes wastefulness, every wasteful mindset, I change it today. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Your business will yield in this year. In the name of Jesus, begin to ask God grace. I will not be wasteful. I will not be wasteful, my God. Somebody pray. Every form of wastefulness, I cut it off my life this year. I cut it off my way. Every wasteful thought. I will be prudent with resources. I will be frugal with resources. Even the resources of God that he will put in my hand this year. I shall not be wasteful. Somebody pray. I will be wise. I receive wisdom. I walk in wisdom. Grace. Grace upon my life. My life will advance on every side. My life will advance by wisdom. I will walk. I receive grace. I receive my God. I receive grace on the day, the day, the day, the day, the day. I do another badoya bekoti yaga gaga. You so to polo polo do po ida ida ida. I fada bakati yaga daga da. I get the get the get the yetele de. I do polo ba yaga di abru de get di no goya. I do another day yaka nuna do de sasa. Ete alabira dada mo shande ya. I do di yaga di yaga di yaga dada. I love ba yaga daga da. Wastefulness is cut off from my life. I receive wisdom to walk in financial intelligence. To walk in financial discipline in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hear me, child of God. God is sending increase this year. It is glory to glory. There will be economic increase for God's people. Hear ye the word of the law. Your land will yield in this year. Ha 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 ha. The works of your hands will yield abundantly this year. The earth will yield unto you. Increase on every side. Let me hear your amen. Hear me, child of God. That burden of death is broken over your neck. Is broken off your neck of your life. In the name of Jesus. Resources enter your hands. Resources enter your hands. Resources enter your hands, my God. Resources enter your hands. In the name of Jesus. Resources enter your hand my god this is a day of supplication i hear the rain of abundance i hear the sound of rain is coming your way it's coming your way i hear the sound of abundance you will live in abundance in this year I am the bada bayaga da bakata. The earth will yield for you. Your business will grow. Yaga bara bada The works of your hand, the Lord will breathe upon it in the name of Jesus. Yea, bara da bada. 
promotion cometh not from the east, it cometh not from the south, it cometh not from the west, it cometh from the Lord. The Lord lift you up today. Lifting is determined for you, child of God. You will not be wasteful. You will not be wasteful, my God. You will not be wasteful, my God. You will walk in wisdom. Growth, growth in your life. Growth in your life. Growth in your job. Growth. I speak growth. I speak growth. I speak growth. I wear me. Look up in the big and the good, 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 the Thank you, Adonai. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse number 15. <clears throat> excuse me. The Bible said that the spiritual man judges all things. And he himself is not judged. He that is spiritual judges all things. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse number 15. He that is spiritual judges all things. Today you are going to judge. You are going to judge everything that hinder growth. Everything that hinder growth functioning in your life. Functioning around you. Everything that make growth not to happen. Everything that hinder you from growing. Everything that hinder your resources from growing. Everything that hinder your business from growing. Whatever they are, judge them now. Open your mouth and pray. Everything that hinder your spiritual growth, judge it now. Let the hand of God cut it off. Let the hand of God cut it off. I judge, I judge. You can't say Ariata silepa kavuka tu yakata pafuka agwe de 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 yege de de de. Everything that hinder growth, everything that stunt ayata saya, everything that anuame deka uli barala deka ya. Whether you be physical or spiritual, whether you be human, anana te 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 ye. I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. Baliato sa. I judge you today. Whatever that hinders growth, whatever that have hindered me from growing, da 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 da. This year we move from glory to glory. We move from glory to glory. Da 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 ya da 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 ya. I da bara bara ba ya da ba ya da ba ya da ba da ya da. I le ba ya da 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 ba ya da ba da ba ya da da. I lo ba ya da ba ya da da ba ya da ba ya da da ba ya da da ya da 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 ya da 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 ya da 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 ya da 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 ya I judge you. I caught you off. I caught you off. Whatever it is, hindering our growth, hindering me from growing, hindering the ministry from growing. Aya, hindering the church of God from growing, from strength to strength. I caught you off. I caught you off. I caught you off. I caught you off. I judge you today. Everything that is hindering my financial growth, everything that is hindering my spiritual growth, everything that is hindering my material growth, everything hindering my growth in my knowledge of God, in my walk with God, open your mouth and judge it now. I caught you off. 
Ebele Bayakandiaka, he drove the Sande Sande Katana, he Pelete de Berebeke to Yabuva Dashai, is Yakatani Adali, he Gradana Gayana Ligadia Gadana Bakuriada, Rabababa. I caught you off, I judge you now in the name of Jesus. La Brobe de Bede Yegede, and Rabana Bayakana Gada, and the de 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 in the name of Jesus, be destroyed. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In the book of James chapter 1 and verse number 22, the Bible said, He that hears and does not do is foolish, is deceiving himself. Hallelujah. Ah, the result is in the doing. It is they who do that are justified, the Bible said. It is in the doing. It is when you do that you represent Results. It is in the doing that we see the result ah, of that which have been spoken. You are going to pray. God give me grace to stop. Listen, there are some things you must stop this year. There are some things that must be stopped. Yes, if you don't stop them, though you have prayed, nothing will happen. There are some things you must start. If you don't start them, though you have prayed, nothing will happen happen. Therefore, you are going to pray now and say, God, I receive grace to stop what I must stop and to start what I must start. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. I receive grace. I receive grace to stop and I receive grace to start. I receive grace to stop what I must stop and I receive grace to start what I must start. Pour grace upon us. Pour grace upon us. We receive grace as a people. We receive grace. Pour grace upon the Church, pour grace upon the church. That we will stop what we must stop and start what we must start. For the result is in the doing. Oh God, we will step out to do. We will begin what we must start. We will end what we must end. Open our eyes. To see that which we must stop and start that which we must start. And yada da 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 yada da. He pray again the 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 bele the beida. Vado vado barani kaka. He do shada barani kotele de kanda. He de he de he da yada ba. In our personal lives, in our businesses, with our finances, my God, my Father. He no da he no. Oh the mini yada bebeida. Avodesa sakwati yade. He de he de. Adu mini yada be. We receive grace. We receive grace, my God. We receive grace. We lead the yada da 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 badaya. He bare the be koko to yogo miri yada la siova. He bande vadi kapura katusha kete ida ha. He le de 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 ante kana makuri tesa. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. You move forward in this year. My God, you go forward on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. He delete camera satire. You are going to pray another prayer and say, God, I receive grace to be disciplined and determined, to be disciplined and circumcept, to be disciplined and circumcept in the name of Jesus. Yes, you need discipline in your life. Some people begin and somewhere along the line they gas out because there is no discipline. Discipline is starting and staying on course. Commitment and discipline are wrapped together. You need to be disciplined this year, my God. You need to be disciplined this year. Receive grace to be disciplined. Receive grace. Receive grace now. Open your mouth and pray to be consistent, to be committed to that course, to be committed, to be disciplined 
disciplined about your business, to be disciplined about your career, my God, to be disciplined and committed. Open your mouth and demand grace. Demand grace. Demand for grace. What a blessable. In so winning, I do put it in prayer, in studying the word of God, in service to God with the balabakaya. You need discipline, you need to be second set, you need to be determined. Pray and say, God, I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace. Begin to pray. I walk in grace. I walk in grace. Grace will take me through. Grace will take me through. Yes, I receive grace. In all my endeavors, in all that I must do, who permit a discipline, oh God, I will not gas out in the name of Jesus. I receive the finisher's grace, my God. I receive the finisher's grace. Pray, pray, pray. Pray for the finisher's grace. Pray for the finisher's grace. I receive the finisher's grace. I receive the finisher's grace. I will not end on the way. I will not suddenly stop. I will not suddenly become tired in that which I must do. I walk in grace. I walk in grace. My body shall rest respond to grace my mind respond to grace my will respond to grace i receive it now he did da 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 abu de be de be de be rio be rio o ve be de brio be ro be dio be da abu di ga 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 du gu du gu du le vie be de di tatani so ko ba ka ya idei idei amie de lu mané de du gu va iso za va la barida tutane sa zeze te de te ye ke in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, Proverbs chapter 20 and verse number 4, Proverbs chapter 20, verse number 4, the Bible said, oh my God, he said, a sluggard does not plow in season. A slogan does not plow in season. The King James will say he does not plow because of the cold. A slogan, a lazy man, does not plow because of cold. The slogan does not plow in season. So at harvest time, he looks but finds nothing. So at harvest time, he has no harvest. A slogan, a lazy man, he that is lazy will not plow because of cold oh it is too cold oh it is too hot oh i am tired yes that is the word of the slogan and then in chapter 13 of proverbs and verse number four the bible said oh yes the slogan craves and gets nothing but the desire of the diligent are fully satisfied the slogan craves and gets nothing because he's lazy to do because he is lazy you are going to pray I, you are going to pray. Laziness manifests in different ways. You are going to pray for yourself and say, my father, my father, cut off laziness and procrastination. Today, I cut off laziness and procrastination from my life. I cut off laziness and procrastination from my life. Can you please pray? I am the shakata. I will not be lazy this year. He, Adini Koto Koto, concerning my work with God, concerning Summon my my life. I will not be lazy. I am da 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 da. Ah, some of us will procrastinate. What we are meant to do now, we will procrastinate and say, let it be for tomorrow. Let it be for next tomorrow. That call.
call you are meant to make now that movement you are meant to do now we procrastinate laziness judge laziness in your life my god judge it is a spirit that keep men down after they have prayed after they have fasted Atta, tata. laziness have a way of keeping people at a spot pray child of god this year you are moving to glory this year your life will echo my god it is from glory to glory there will be appreciation and growth on every side my god your life will not beauty this year your life will not glory this year your resources your bar will overflow who the manasiah you will walk in wisdom in the name of jesus today is a day of supplication and prayer begin to pray demand that the hand of laziness will not have a hold on you receive grace not to be lazy receive grace today your life will reflect the glory of God. Laziness is cut off. Some of us will sleep and oversleep. Laziness, even as adults, laziness be cut off. As a teenager, as a young man, as a youth, who peled Baradaka, begin to judge laziness. You will not be lazy concerning prayer. You will not be lazy concerning spiritual things. Open your mouth and pray that God, the power and the hold of laziness, be destroyed and cut off your soul, cut off your will, cut off your God will do a miracle in your life. God will move in your direction in this year. In the name of Jesus. And then a sasieta high, if the leve curia cara, zizi pereda batinos. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, my God. A day of supplication and prayer. You get the bed, the bed, you get 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 the bed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Genesis chapter 2 and verse number 7, the Bible said, And God breathed into the nostrils. And God breathed into the nostrils of what he has formed. And man became. Life entered that sand. Life entered what God molded. When he breathed upon it, life came and man became. The Bible said in Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 9 and verse 10. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 9 and verse 10. He said and the Lord said to me, son of man, prophesy, speak to the wind, let the breath come let the wind come upon the dry bones and i prophesied as i was commanded and the wind came and they became a mighty army you are going to pray breath of god my god begin to pray that the lord will breathe growth 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 everything about you this year will grow will multiply we grow in a multiplied dimension your finance your work with god pray and say god breathe on me my business breathe on it breathe growth upon the church breathe breathe and say to me grow i breathe and say grow let growth happen let there be growth the breath of god that bring that growth that cause thing to grow things to grow the breath of God, let it come upon me. Let it come upon my household. Let it come upon my resources. Let it come upon my finances. Let it come upon the church. Let it come upon us. The word is growth. 
there shall be growth you will record growth astronomical growth in this year I am the bar growth who better let the breath of God come upon me the breath of God breathe on me and say grow I grow grow beyond leaps and bounds grow oh restoration house grow I begin to speak life and growth speak life and growth speak life and growth upon you upon everything that concerns you growth breathe on us breathe on us growth my god growth my god who have the another growth oh god who be who be at what they have the tenor who be he go do go do go do all breath of god come upon us all breath of god come upon us all breath of god come upon us and one that they are not the other and one that they are not the other and one come upon me all breath of god i the hete yakata he le bere de bede sando sa ventre te ventre ze te naba he go no koto yaga berikat is a satana sai in the name of jesus my God, in Jesus' name we have prayed. The Bible said in the book of Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse number 2, he says in the second line, he said, Thou, O Lord, shall revive thy work. You will revive thy work in the midst of the years. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse number 2, you will revive your work in the midst of the year. Hallelujah to Jesus. O Lord, thou shalt revive thy work in the midst of the year. Yes, Habakkuk said so. Allah Bada Baya in chapter 3 and verse number 2 in Habakkuk the Bible said, Oh yes, Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds. Oh Lord, revive thy walk in the midst of the year. Revive thy walk in the midst of the year. We are going to pray for revival. Oh yes, we are going to pray for revival, my God. A revival is coming to the church. Revival is coming to the church in Africa. Revival is coming. Revi a fire is coming from the Lord. It will burn false prophets. It will judge falsehood. It will punch the house. It will bring back power. I hear it clearly. Revival comet to America, to the church in America, to the church in Europe. Revival comet. We are going to pray and say, Lord, let revival come upon my life, upon my prayer altar, upon my soul, upon the church. Let there be revival. Let the fire of revival burn once again, that we will know the reign of Pentecost once again. That they, 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 like you prophesied, like you said in the book of Joel chapter 2, let your spirit come upon us, like you said in Zechariah, Ayanda Baraba, you say, ask rain in the days of rain, and I will give you rain. And to many Shantushaya, we ask for rain, we ask for revival. Aida, Aida, Barabadabaya. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. It is coming. We will pray for it. We will say, Lord, let it happen to me. Lord, let it happen in my time. Lord, let it happen in my church. At Aparadatayacha, let it happen. Let the altars of God receive fire, revive. Pray for revival. We need revival, oh God. Pour out your spirit upon us once again. Pour out your spirit upon us, my God. 
diamu ja ban vesia a wede taladi go para eswe be vesue de ikatura tata itaya revive us revive us revive us lord revive us lord ah oh, revive the church revive your work who in america in africa in europe in south america in asia in the middle east my god the souls will come to know you that will be genuine repentance oh god send reviver ayaba baba yara baba da in the name of jesus my god i feel like pressing I feel like pushing beyond one hour. I feel like pressing, my God. Pray for your prayer request. That thing you want the Lord to do for you. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 says, Ask and it shall be given. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door shall be opened. Seek and you will find, my God. Can you talk to God concerning your prayer request this year? It is a day of supplication. Can you say to the Lord, Visit me, O God. These are my heart desires. These are my expectations for the year. Oh Lord, visit me early. Concerning these matters, begin to pray. If you us to this prayer request oh god that are before me i bring them to you oh god answer speedily oh god answer speedily oh god answer speedily oh god that the joy of your people may be full in the name of jesus thank you father begin to bless the name of the lord begin to thank him for answers to your prayers my god begin to tell god thank you thank you for this visitation it is our one hour covenant time of prayer Tomorrow, same time, we will be here. Same time, same time. Connect. Don't wait to be reminded. Set your alarm to remind you if you will forget. Yes, wherever you are in the world, join this prayer altar. God is about to bet something big. Don't be left out. Be part of it. Don't be left out. Be part of it. There is going to be a shift in your life. A shift in your family. A shift in your finances. Yes, you will see your heart desires come to pass. This is an altar of prayer. God is demanding of us a one hour time time of prayer come to this altar and pray come to this altar and join it is a global thing people are joining from around the world i can see you i can see you from everywhere from europe i can see you i can see you from the latin americas i can see you i can see you i can see you my god from asia people are connecting to this platform don't be left out it's a global prayer network don't be left just for one hour every day be here and god will bless you give god praise and give him thanks for answers to prayers go ahead tell everybody invite share this link with everyone that you know everyone that you love because the time to pray is now give god thanks i will see you sometime tomorrow god bless you in jesus name